In Taggart tonight, an opera singer returning to her native Glasgow hopes also to be reconciled with her estranged husband. Mum, there's something you should know before you meet Dad. Well, that's right. You'll be able to explain that. But affairs of the heart can bring surprises, and then jealousy, and sometimes murder. Kiss? <laughs> Taggart, tonight at nine on Television South. Some decisions you have to get right. That's the beauty of gas. British gas. Energy is our business. You're buying the leading powder. Will you swap for Daz? No. Because I'm not happy with what I've got. So, Linda, we persuaded you to try Daz in the hot whites wash. Yes, I'm very pleased with it. This is my son's school T-shirt, and that comes home every six weeks from school, and that is really grubby, and it came up nice and white. These are muslin nappies that I use for mopping up on the baby, and they came up really white. I get through quite a lot of powder. Daz is cheaper, so therefore it saves me money on my housekeeping. So would you swap for two packets of your old powder? No, I'm sticking to Daz. I wouldn't change back now. Try Biological Daz yourself in the hot whites wash. Most women agree. Daz gives unbeatable white at a price that's right. I'm a McCain oven chip pan. Right for your kids and the old man. Better than chips from a chip pan. Forty percent less fat. McCain oven chips really taste right. Gone like a fashion your plate, mate. Chips that are bad up to date, mate. Forty percent less fat. McCain oven chips. Better for taste, better for you. If you were watching a country practice yesterday afternoon, then, like me, you'll probably want to know what happened to the old sheep shearer. Taught him everything he knows, you know. Taught him pretty bloody well, too. You would have beaten him, Dad. All you had to do was hit your stride. Yeah, well, we never know now, will we? <laughs> you know, he's not a bad jumbuck, Barber, the old Billy. But he's got one hell of a lot to learn. The public relations department. Oh, that's all. How are you feeling now, Mr. Cullen? Oh, like I rode a bony horse bareback across the lullabore. Well, those painkillers the sister gave you should be starting to work. All right. We say get a hurry on. How do the x-rays turn out? Well, you've done a bit of damage to your coccyx. Well, you had me love life. <laughs> oh. The coccyx is a set of four small vertebrae at the end of the spinal column. It'll be sore for a while. How long will I be laid up? Lying won't be the problem. Sitting will. The only thing I can do is prescribe some analgesics and advise you to rest. Rest? <laughs> oh, don't make me laugh. We've got a shed to cut out. If you'll pardon an observation, Mr. Cullen, I don't think you should be worrying about cutting out sheds. You managed to avoid Richard Page's shed. I suggest you do the same with the others. Now, this uh, accident, combined with your osteoarthritis, should put an end to your shearing days. I'll be the best judge of that, I reckon. Yes. Well, I can only advise you. I suggest you remain lying down until those painkillers take effect. I'll look in on you later. Yeah. Page, Doc. 
Sounds like you've got to give the game away. Yeah, don't worry about it. <laughs> Quacks have been telling me to do that for years. Yeah, well, maybe you ought to start thinking about it. Oh, turn it up, will you? Begin to sound like Billy Webb. <laughs> Molly! Molly! I'm home. Well? Shh. How's it going? Nothing yet. Look, Molly, it's been over a day. I mean, you can't sit here forever, hun. It might be... Well, it might not hatch. It was still warm when Dubbo found it. Will hatch, Brendan. Just got to keep it warm. Of course it will. Will, I know it will. I saw Dubbo at the hospital this afternoon. What happened? Has he had an accident? No, no, his father did. Hurt his back. Looks like his shearing days are over. That's awful. Mm. How's Dubbo? Oh, fine, fine. He seemed okay. I'll make some coffee, hey? You want some coffee? No, thanks. this time. Come on. Come on. You can do it. Maybe you ought to give it a bit longer. Well, sitting around here thinking about it is not going to make it better any quicker. Oh, I miss Billy Webb's smiling face. You won't be able to work. Oh. Why the big hurry to get back out there? Yeah. I'll help you. Thanks. Oh, Jesus, man, I feel like a bloody invalid. Well, how about I help you? Oh, just give us my boot. Me, they help. Put me boot on. G'day. I uh, heard about your accident. I just wondered how you were. Oh, I'm all right. Thanks for being concerned. Right. Well, I hope you're up and around soon. Oh, Vicky, uh, you been out to Dick Page's place? Yeah. How was she? Clear. Why? No more scabby mouth. No. Not that it makes much difference. You're not going to shear them anyway, are you? No way I can drop the blokes into lifting the black band on Page's shed. Couldn't you try? It's a shame, isn't it? All those animals going into the warm weather, fully fleeced. Hey, Dad, it's Paige's shearing shed that's been black banned. Not his sheep. Well, they're not, are they? No, sir. They're not. Mr. Page and old Charlie Weatherall are moving the flock down to the south paddock. They're going to need a hand mustering them across the creek and onto Reg Bartlett's property. They can be shown there. What's a Bartlett reckon about all this? He could land himself in a lot of trouble, you know. He's prepared to take the chance. He doesn't want to see Richard Page go to the wall any more than the rest of us. What's to say that mob of red raggers will do the sheep even if we get them over there? They get a nosebleed at the thought of hard work. Hey, if you haven't done any sheep shearing, you don't know what hard work is. Ernie Cullen reckons he can talk the rest of them into it. If Paige had done the right thing in the first place, this wouldn't happen. That's not the point. It doesn't matter who's right and who's wrong. Everybody's been so busy taking sides and talking politics that they've forgotten the real victims, the sheep. Now, if those sheep don't get shorn, some of them will collapse from exhaustion when the hot weather sets in and the rest will be fly-blown. Both Ernie Cullen and Richard Page will admit that the real reason for this standoff is pure stubbornness on both sides. It won't do either of them any good if it doesn't go through. And we've all got a stake in this. We're still important to all of us. I'm with you, Vicky. Thanks, Frank. Bob? 
Yes, yeah, Spicer. Well, don't look at me. They're my mates. I can't help you break a black band. Where's your hammer and sickle? Oh, where's the broken nose you'll have in a minute? All right, you two, cut it out. Cookie will have to stay here to hold the fort anyway. Ready when you are, Vicky. Right. to accidentally grab hold of this bit, I could get a dangerous shock, even electrocuted. But I'm protected because I've got it plugged into my new power breaker, which cuts off the power before I can get a serious shock. Power breakers are full of electronics, which instantly detect the tiniest flow of electricity to Earth. Every home should have a power breaker or two, but they can save your life. This is Whisk. A thicker, richer, more concentrated liquid. Whisk is so thick you simply pour it into the drawer of your machine like powder. Whisk is thicker because it has more concentrated cleaning power than other liquids. Power that gets to work immediately, reaching down into the fibers of every fabric, driving out dirt and attacking stains, bringing whiteness and brightness to all the wash. Thick, liquid whisk. We make it thicker to make it better. It's never been bigger. Never been better. New Marathon's got more peanuts. It's never been bigger. Never been better. New Marathon's got more chocolates. It's never been bigger. Never been better. New Marathon's now a bigger bite. New Marathon, the biggest and best one ever. It's the finale. KP Honey Roasted. Yeah. Now a honey roasted peanuts from KP. They're strangely savoury. Being the expert in gas, we knew what would be the right system. Once one of our skilled engineers installed it, we arranged the best service plan possible and popped back every year to look after it. Should there have been a problem, we'd have sorted it out at no extra charge. Service care. We were there when it was delivered. And we've been looking after it ever since. This table didn't cost the earth, but to Mr. Delves, it's the perfect spot on a Sunday afternoon. To the children, it's another galaxy. Mrs. Delves wouldn't part with it for the world. If you care about it, pledge it. Pretty clever, don't you? Well, it just so happens your little con job was a waste of time. We ain't touching those sheep. Oh, yeah? Why is that again? Because we ain't scabbed, that's why. At least some of us ain't. Well, so I'm a scab now, am I? The cap fits. You know, I'm not really impressed with that. So why don't you explain it to me again, Billy boy? We put it to the vote, didn't we? The Page property is black. We don't do his sheep. But, Billy, this isn't the Page property. This is the Bartlett property. But their Page is bloody sheep. So what? I never heard nobody declare any sheep black. Anyhow, a few thousand more woolies isn't going to hurt anybody's pocket, are they? Least of all ours. We ain't doing it. I think it's time we put it to the vote. We already put it to the vote. We ain't doing pages sheep. I tell you what I would like to vote on, though. A new union delegate. Is that a fact? Yeah, that's a fact. Maybe you're getting a little long in the tooth. Maybe you should think about retiring, old mate. Is that right, Billy boy? And who's gonna retire me? I think I can handle that. 
I think maybe you can try. I don't work with scabs. You said that. You sure you don't want to wait until he can at least stand up? I'm going to do you, Billy boy. Bad back and all. Hey, Billy! Me first. Dubbo, get back in your hole. This is my fight. You can't fight, Dad. You can hardly stand. Just keep out of it. You could get yourself hurt, Dubbo. I know. I can't hit a kid. Well, can I? Well, what about that boat? I'm with Dad. I say we do the paid sheep. Well, that's settled that then. Tough guy, eh? <sighs> Working on it. Well, it's amazing what little common sense can do. Yes, I'm glad too. Bye-bye. Good news. The best. The shearers have agreed to do Richard Page's sheep. Great. Yeah, and they've been able to work it so it won't affect their commitments in Barragan too much. You'd make a good union organiser. I would, wouldn't I? Communication, that's the secret. If only people would talk to each other more. Husbands talk to wives. Simon, what's wrong? I've been thinking about that Sydney offer, have you? I haven't had time. Anyway, we decided, didn't we? Maybe we've been a little hasty. Hasty? Why? Vicky, your place is here in the country where you're needed. Now, what happened today only proved that. I've decided to turn down the Institute's offer. You can't. You've wanted to do tropical medicine for as long as I've known you. Now, it's no use arguing, Vicky. I couldn't take you away from where you're happy and needed. What about you? Well, I'm pretty happy here and I hope I'm needed. Yes, you are. <laughs> are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. Positive? Positive. No regrets? No regrets. Well, if you're sure. Ah, yes, I am sure. Anyway, I went off tropical medicine a long time ago. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh. So I said to this bloke, you can take the white comb and you can open a barber shop with it. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like you're a bit on the outer, mate. I'll live with it. Did you like the way the boat went? Oh, well, that's democracy for you, isn't it? Hey, plate layer, give us another one, will you? <laughs> g'day, fellas. Oh, g'day, boss. G'day. Have you got a minute, Eddie? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What can I do you for? I just want to say thanks for the good turn you did me. Oh, don't worry about it. You're paying the wages. Uh, just make sure that everything's organised before next year's clip, eh? You can count on it. <laughs> Are you going to be on the Shearer's team next year? Oh, maybe, maybe not. Have to see how the old back hangs up. I've been talking to some of the other blokes in the valley. They've had it with that contractor of yours. <laughs> well, at least we got something in common there. You know, no one would mind if you took over that end of it. If you wanted to give up the hard yakka, that is. <laughs> no, but you'd be doing us all a big favour if you became the local contractor. And that is, if you could handle being a boss. Uh, yeah. Well, could food for thought, I suppose. Uh, I'll see how I go. How you going, Al, mate? Oh, thanks, oh, mate. I'll get these. Oh, no, you won't. We can't accept beer from a cocky. What are you trying to do to us, boss? Give us a bad name. <laughs> there we go. Bought you some coffee. It's not going to make it, is it? This wasn't strong enough, Brendan. This wasn't strong enough. Come on. It wasn't my fault, Brendan. It wasn't. I know. I know. Well, sometimes it... Sometimes... 
sometimes it just happens like that, no matter what anyone does. Yeah, come on, Mary, don't cry. He just wasn't strong enough. Look, Molly, don't put yourself through this, OK? It wasn't my fault, Brendan, it wasn't. Some things are meant to live, and some things are meant to die. And that's just the way it is. It wasn't my fault our son died. It just happens like that. I know. Look, it wasn't your fault, OK? It just it wasn't your fault. He just wasn't strong no, enough. No, no, he wasn't. It wasn't half. We can't blame ourselves. No, no, we can't. Sometimes it just happens like that. Come on. <sighs> Don't cry, Anna. something to remember Christopher by. <laughs> something nice. Molly, I love you. I love you. And I never want to hurt you again. I love you too. More than anything. Here's to gastro, influenza, and understanding husband. Hello, Vicky, Simon in? Yes, Terence, come in. Like a glass of champagne? Oh, that might have I do. Oh, by the way, I'd like to congratulate you on what you did for Richard Page. All in a day's work. <laughs> there you are. <clears throat> Thanks. Uh, there, there is one thing. Ah, yes, and uh, what's that? Well, you... You know, I don't like to put you on the spot, Simon, but... Um, have, have, you, uh, have you decided what you're going to do about, uh, about the Sydney offer? Well, Terence, of course you do realise that an opportunity like this might only come up once in a lifetime. Well, yes. yes, yes I do. mean, there are a lot of things to consider, aren't there? Uh, the financial rewards, the prestige. Well, Vicky and I have carefully considered all the options and we've made a decision. You have? Yes, we're not going. Well, I... You're not going? We decided the Valley needed us. <laughs> oh. Well, that, that's, that's wonderful, of course, but... Uh... I suppose I'll have to break the bad news to David King now. Bit of a pity, really. He's a really bright chap and a quirky sense of humour. Bachelor. I think the country life would really have suited him. Oh, well. Perhaps I'll suggest he uh, contact the Department of Tropical Medicine. Another day off? Uh, no. Just thought I ought to come around and say goodbye. You leaving already? As soon as we finish up at the Bartlett's. Where are you going? Bargain for a couple of weeks. So you decide to become a shearer after all? Well, no. Uh, I was going to tell Dad, but... Dubbo, you should. Yeah, I will. I will. But I'm going to stick with him a while. You know, I'm just going to stay on the team till I get a bit of money together. I want to buy a car. Well, nothing ritzy, just an old ute or something. Reckon I might go and take a look at Perth. Where the weather's always good. Yeah. Well? Yeah, well, thanks for all the cups of tea and stuff. I'll see you. I, uh... Sorry if I caused you any hassles. You haven't. I hope 
hope you have a good life, David. It's going to be a damn sight better for now and you. Mine too. Thanks for everything. Bit quiet in here this morning, isn't it? It was. Suppose you won't know yourself now. You come home, mates, to the side of the vacate the bar stools and do a decent day's work. You ought to try it yourself sometime. Well, you're going to start the revolution in Burrigan next, are they? Wherever they hang their red flag as home, eh? What would you know about it, you big heap? This country was founded on the sheep's back and those, unionism. Those red raggers won't let us forget it either, mate. What about another beer, eh? Why don't you try pouring it yourself? All right. I don't mind a bit of compromise now and then. Well, in that case, I'll have one myself. Bit early in the day for you to start drinking, huh? No earlier for me than it is for you. Yeah. But it's my day off. Skimmed milk, semi-skimmed, 